Well, Philly's opening day, it is here, just hours from the first pitch at Citizens Bank Park with Keith Jones joining us live now. Keith, not only are we celebrating opening day, we have your birthday to celebrate. March 29th uh, that's it right. is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So, perfect day, right? Because the Phillies are sure. back in town at South Philadelphia, and I get to sit next to these two guys, too. we got Mickey Morandini and also Milt Thompson, Yay! 1993 NL champs right here. So it's a, kind of a, a dream come true for a lot of different reasons. Let's talk about the nuts and bolts first before we talk Phillies baseball. we got the gates opening up at 1235. Phillies fans, of course, will be able to filter on in. First pitch is at 305. Going to get a free scarf, too, here at uh, Citizens Bank Park. Zach Wheeler taking the mound this afternoon his first opening day start in a Phillies uniform and fans oh boy we have been uh, patiently waiting uh, this offseason as short as it was right last October is the last time we played Phillies baseball everyone's thinking how is it going to play out this time around there's so much hope this season what's it like to be in a Phillies uniform guys on on opening day with all this expectation awesome yeah I mean it's awesome <laughs> um, one of the best days of the year I think especially for the fans uh, it's going to be a nice day today. The sun's going to be out. Um, 45 screaming Philly fans. We're yeah, playing our yeah. rival. Yep, yep. We got to beat up on the Braves again like we did in the playoffs. But it's a, an exciting time. Uh, you know, they came in here on Monday. They had three days to think about it. That's the hard part is the okay, wait. Okay. But they're ready to go. I know that. That's great. Yeah. You think so, too? It's going to be exciting. Yeah, it really absolutely. Is, you know, these, this fan base is amazing. You know, they get you fired up and... They'll be ready to play. That's right. Yeah, the 2024 team is on the hunt for a World Series win, right? Came so close two seasons in a row. What kind of perspective do you think that they need heading into this year? Well, you know, the thing is, I, I say all the time, 15 wins a month to get you 90 wins, you'll get there in the playoffs, and then a new season begins. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's the last two years have been really tough. You know, we've got right there to the edge and uh, haven't found a way, but uh, – it's growing pains. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it's yeah. growing pains, and I think that they, they'll figure a way out this year. Yeah, Mickey, unfinished business, really. <laughs> unfinished business, uh, two things, stay healthy, you mm -hmm. know, keep the big boys healthy, and get off to a little better start. Yeah, You know, yeah. the last two years, they've really struggled in April, the beginning of May. If they can get out to a little better, better start, uh, we can cruise into the playoffs and hopefully win another world oh, championship. Be amazing. Got to get up for the rival Braves, too, today, of course. Mickey, thank you so Great much, as you. always. Mills, All right. oh, you guys Take are the care. best. Waking up this early in the morning, too, braving this cold. It's been a long day watching Phillies baseball, which is great. Uh, on and off the field, there's going to be so much to talk about. 20 years here at Citizens Bank Park. Uh, let's talk to NBC10's Brenna Wyke, right? Because there's a lot of stuff to experience both on and off the field. NBC10's, uh, oh, look at you. You look great out there, too. Is there a bat in your hand there, Brenna? <laughs> She's in the yard. Oh, there She's is, the Keith. I'm ready to go. I'm, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> it's not safe for me to have a bat in my hand at this time of day. I've had a lot of caffeine already. We're excited to be here at Citizens Fan Field. This is such a fun experience for the kids especially. So if your kids are on spring break or maybe they're playing hooky and they are coming out here to enjoy opening day, make sure you bring them out here. The bankers are ready to go. This is a handful of the people who are going to be helping you have a really fun experience. I am going to hand off the microphone to Dan Fitzgerald. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect here and all the excitement surrounding opening day. Oh, absolutely, Brent. It's always great at opening day, but there's so many new amenities. Again, this is the 20th anniversary of Citizens Bank Park. So these are my colleagues from Citizens, our great ballpark bankers. Let's hear it for the ballpark bankers. They are ambassadors. They make sure you have a great experience. Now we got Brenna. This is Citizens Fan Field, where both a oh, great shot, Brenna. <laughs> all right. Get to that. that this is what it's about. I mean, we sign, Brenton got to sign her up here. Great, great swing. <clears throat> well, that pitch wasn't great. That one, that pitch wasn't really. There you go, another base hit down the line. So that, but this is where um, families can come, and not just kids to come and have a game, a wiffle ball game here at, at uh, Citizens Fan Field, but old guys like me like to get together and have a little wiffle ball game too so it's all good there's something for everyone here at citizens bank park and it's just great to be with the phillies on opening day yeah great to have you here thank you so much um and this is just one of multiple things people can enjoy here at the park what else can people expect absolutely well you know there's so many great amenities the food and a lot of new food offerings this year and then of course uh, the gear you've got to have your gear you've got great gear i love the gear 
And, and again, the store, so many new, and again, what Bryce Harper's done for the Fanatic. We all love the Fanatic, but yeah. the amount of gear, because Bryce wears so much Fanatic gear, a lot of stuff that Bryce Harper wears, you can buy in, in, this, in the Philly store. So it's just a really exciting year, 20th anniversary of Citizens Bank Park, and, and for our partnership for Citizens, it's been amazing. The Phillies are the best, a, best people in the world and the best baseball team. We're in another red October, and it's just going to be really exciting. The fans are ready. Dan Fitzpatrick, yeah. I, I got that wrong earlier. Thanks so much for being here with us. I'll send it back to you guys. Uh, work on my uh, batting skills a little bit more. Brenda did great. She hit the uh, warning track out there in left field. That's really good, especially considering this wind that's out here. So, Brenda, nice work in the uh, overalls, too. It's a good it's luck. It's windy. Bill Henley standing by. Yeah, right. Exactly. It's cold out here. Bill Henley joins us right now in the first of their weather center to talk about just how cold it is. But hey, it's going to be better than it was yesterday. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes. We're going to see lots of sunshine. And how nice is it that Jason Kelsey showed up to pitch to Brenda this morning? I think that's fantastic. Really nice of him. And it just shows how multi-talented that man is. Hey, for today, those clouds are out of the picture. They are out of here. 55 degrees and holding right on through the afternoon. Sunshine, yes, but it's the steady wind that is going to make those temperatures top out in the mid-50s during the game. The wind's near 20 miles an hour, but the gusts will be higher. So it'll be fun to watch the ball game for sure. 40 degrees right now in the suburb skies are clear. Those numbers are dropping. It feels like 34 with the wind out of the north-northwest at 8 miles an hour. Plenty of sunshine this morning, so we'll go back into the 40s. And 50 degrees early in the afternoon and then into the low to mid-50s today. A really beautiful day today, but... It, it will be, if somebody tells you to go fly a kite, it might uh, be uh, just a nice, friendly suggestion for some outdoor fun because you'll definitely be able to do that today. Look at the cold in South Jersey, Bridgeton. 33 degrees right now while it's 41 in Turnersville. It's 42 in Cherry Hill. There are some very low 40s for Mansfield and Trenton right in the low 40s to start with. Sunshine, plenty of it this morning. The clouds will be blowing through this afternoon, but there'll just be a few fair weather clouds. They'll be barely there at four, at 3 and 4 o'clock. Those clouds and temperatures in the 50s, the gusty wind will settle down tonight and tomorrow will be warmer. And the weekend will be mild. It does come with a chance of some afternoon and evening showers for Saturday. They'll be spotty and light and then a really nice warm up for Easter Sunday.